I'm sorry. But I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Hello guys, my name is Sura and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the mangas that I recently bought. It's supposed to be some my autumn or fall manga haul. These are the mangas I'm going to focus on more during the fall and the winter season. And to be honest, during winter, I like to read more like slice of life or shoujo manga. It just feels very cozy and stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, let me show you all the mangas that I bought recently. First manga that I bought and I actually already showed it and I had like a reading vlog for this volume it is Toilet Bound Hanokokun by Aidairo I'm not sure if I hauled this before but just to be sure this is the first volume I really want to get the second and the third volumes that were out I think the fourth one is also out I don't I just don't can't find it in stores and in stores is the only way I can buy manga recently so this is a story about if you know the urban legend Hanako-san which is if you go to the third uh, floor girls bathroom to the third stall and you keep whispering Hanako-san then Hanako-san the ghost will appear and they will make one of your wishes come true this is a very famous Japanese urban legend that is like elementary school children you know talk about this is like that except Hanako-san is a little boy here one of the girls is like she likes someone and so she goes to the stall and she calls Hanako-kun and he is trying to help her to fall in love but also the school that they are in is just very spooky a lot of things are going on it talks about a lot of uh, Japanese urban legend I highly recommend this manga it is so adorable the art is incredible it's so cute and also like so detailed also the stories are so really cute and they are a little bit spooky it's perfect for this weather if you don't like horror but you want to read something spookier for the spooky season then i highly recommend this one and the mang the anime as well is so good it has that vibe you know that autumn vibe even the colors they're very dense and saturated and like shades of red and orange and stuff like that i really i can't talk about this enough like i highly highly recommend this manga and the enemy is only 12 episodes so please check it out so yeah so this is the first and next the second i'm going to share like i'm going to share also like what my sister bought because we always buy manga together and i read from her pile and she reads from my pile so yeah she recently got volumes 10 11 and 12 of soul eater unfortunately she started picking soul eater right before the release of the special editions which are hardcover new releases of Soul Eater so if you're planning to read Soul Eater by Astushi Okubo please pick the special editions they look marvelous but she started picking the regular edition so she just continued this is a volume 10 this is volume 11 and this is a volume 12 and if you don't know Soul Eater please go watch the anime it is one of my favorite enemies ever Soul Eater is about Maka and her weapon and she is in like this kind of school where they hunt souls and if they collect like 100 soul or something like that then they can get a wish come true I, it's been ages since I last like watched the anime and I haven't started the manga yet I really want to read the special edition ones it's just very this is by the same creator as Fire Force this is like is I'm not sure if it's his first manga but it is like his first manga that got serialized in English and um, got an anime and so yeah uh, if you like Fire Force please pick this one it does have like that gothic grungy you know kind of drawing and atmosphere even I, I highly recommend this like uh, this is a classic it's so lit up it's about witches and weapons and medusa and you know a blood moon it's it's really great next manga that i want to talk about is this gem right here this is by x family by tetsuya endo this is currently one of my favorite ongoing mangas i've been reading it on the manga plus app the jump manga plus app like and i got the first volume and i really want to get the second one i think it's already out so yeah this is a manga about i talked about this i'm not sure if i hold it like in a proper video like this this is about a spy who has to adopt a kid and create a family for a mission 
So he ends up by mistake like adopting this kid who was experimented on and now she is telepathic and he ends up like marrying in some kind of contract the most famous assassin like in the kingdom and they all don't know each like what secrets they're hiding but they're supposed to live this domestic life and act like a family so that he can achieve his mission and it's so entertaining like the story is like the moment i heard about it like i was just like i have to read this because it's so different and this is nothing like you would expect it's so much fun it's so funny and it's so cozy and warm as well at the same time Anya the little kid she is so lovable she's the only one who actually knows her proper like the profession of her dad and her mom her adoptive parents uh, she knows what they are and in her own way she is trying to help them so they can achieve world peace and it is so funny and so cozy if you will pick any manga today out of all this pile I highly recommend you pick this one it is such a gem and I do have a vlog for it i will link it up here for you to check out but if you want like a more in-depth review because i did read this for a readathon so yeah i highly recommend this one and the next manga that i want to talk about this is a complete yes a complete i am so happy when i complete a manga or there's a complete manga this is a complete uh this is more bl rather than yaoi this is that blue sky feeling story by okura and the art by koma hashi this is volume one and this is volume two and this is volume three this is about a student who is gay and he is kind of in love with his classmate but he can't tell him that and so he is just trying to talk to him and be around him and it's just i've never i haven't read it yet it just sounds really cozy and really cute and like a perfect kind of manga for winter just to cozy up with and to read like on a sunday i will while it's raining i keep setting the mood but this is what i'm going to do what i'm planning to do uh maybe i'll film a vlog of like because i have more than like bl manga volumes that i haven't read maybe i'll film like a, a bl vlog and i will talk about recommendations because and some maybe dramas as well and some other manga if you would like this kind of idea please comment down below and tell me so yeah i am really looking forward to reading this one and it just sounds really cute and cozy and i mean look at them look at the covers doesn't that sound adorable the next manga that i want to talk about this is what i'm planning to read during halloween hopefully i'm going to create like i'm going to film a 24 hour reading vlog for this manga and i want it to be like closer to halloween i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to do it like on halloween day itself maybe the day before because we have a public holiday like on the 29th of october i think so i'm going to be on that day maybe i'll upload like a 24 hour reading vlog of this manga because i really want to read it like during the spooky season and of course i'm talking about the drifting classroom by kazuo umez this is the second omnibus and i've already hauled the first omnibus and talked about it actually in my top favorite mangas of 2000 new mangas of 2019 because it definitely is i read the first omnibus in 2019 and i really loved it this is a classic manga that got released like i think in the 70s. This is a really a cla old classic manga and this is one of the earliest uh, isekai manga. This is, this is about an elementary, an elementary school that gets transported into another world after an earthquake and you are going to follow what these children are going to do and how they're going to survive the other world, how they're going to survive the adults going crazy in that world and how they are going to get back home and what is just the first volume was an emotional roller coaster because you're following these children as they're trying to deal with the fact like where they are and how their parents are most of them like um they're worrying about their parents and they don't know and this is like i thought the way he created the, the emotions of the children was so good and yeah i like, i'm rambling so much about it but this is I'm so excited to read it during Halloween. The art is so good. The art is very nostalgic of the um, it's very nostalgic and it's, it just shows the thick lines of the 90s if you remember like and it's so beautiful the art. And this is what I'm planning to read during Halloween. This is the second omnibus and it's huge. These are such good quality and this is 
the third and final omnibus am i yes they're so good and they're also so huge and i am so happy that i have it complete and i'm planning to read it soon the manga that i want to talk about is i want to eat your pancreas the complete manga collection story by yuro sumino who i've heard incredible things about and art by idumi kirihara this is what it looks like this i'm pretty sure you know what this is about this is supposed to be one of the saddest mangas like currently there is a live action movie with an incredible cast and there's also an anime movie as well my sister like watched everything and she just cried every time and then she ordered this one and i uh, really want to read it but i'm hesitant because it's so sad uh this is about a girl who has a disease in her pancreas i think and about the only boy in school who actually knows she's suffering from that disease and i know the ending is sad that's all i know um, but yeah it's a sad story and maybe like in winter these kind of stories are actually cute you know but the art is looks like such clean beautiful art and uh, i know i'm going to cry but i'm looking forward to it like while reading this manga so yeah the next manga that i want to talk about is the koboko sugar days by atsuko yusen this is another bl manga this is more on the yaoi side because it does say mature ages 18 plus and if you see right here it's boys love i never thought there will come a day when i'm going to buy a tokyo pop volume tokyo pop manga like again but now they're back and i feel like they're stronger than ever and they're releasing like such great gems there are tons of tokyo pop manga that i really want to get this is what is this about i don't know i only know that it's cute and supposed to be adorable isn't it i think it's about childhood friends and as they grow older they become closer than that i think so but it looks really adorable and this is one volume only so these are just great treats you know the next manga is i recently bought it and i showed this in my let's go manga shopping that is where i bought it this is not your idol by avi makino this is about this is like the most feminist shoujo manga and a lot of people said that it is not like anything they've ever read it's about a girl who is a former idol in a group who shows her femininity and starts dressing as a boy after she gets assaulted and it seems like it's going to be kind of heavy manga but it's a much needed kind of manga no one takes shoujo seriously and they always think it's more of a lovey-dovey kind of manga just a cutesy kind of romance kind of demographic uh, but i know of a lot of shoujo manga that's so much more than that and i think this is proving uh that shoujo manga can be so much more and for all the people who have always shunned shoujo manga and didn't want to read it please give it a try it is not what you think i'm pretty sure uh, you will find tons which have like incredible stories and uh, i haven't read it but i heard incredible things about it also this art is so beautiful like the art is so gorgeous and i'm really looking forward to it uh, th the next volume that I bought is Love Me, Love Me Night by Iyo Sakasika. This is by the same creator as Aoharu Raido. And so, so sorry for the terrible lighting, but this, I think you will know, like from the art, you will recognize right away that it is Iyo Sakasika. Her art is so famous. This is about friends. This is actually about two couples. I, the first time I saw the cover, I was like, maybe this is a Yuri manga, but this is actually about two couples. You can see them right here. And. Uh, yeah, that's all I know, to be honest, but it's Iyo Sakasika and I like her work so and it looks adorable so it's about a group of friends and then they got closer together, maybe yeah it's about a group of friends who eventually like become more or something like that it just seems adorable and I'm looking forward to reading it I mean, it's Iyo, Sak Iyo Sakasika the next manga that I bought is A Man and His Cat by Umi Sakurai this is to be honest one of my most anticipated manga it just seems so adorable and uh, you know I don't really like pets like I'm just gonna say it. I don't like cats or dogs I do like reading about them it's weird especially like in manga form this is about a cat this, this is about a man 
who adopts this cat and you just follow them on their adventure every single day this is my first manga by Square Inks because if you don't know Square Inks manga started releasing manga in 2020 and um, they are the ones that are releasing the special editions of Soul Eater as well and High Score Girl uh, the volume feels definitely different like the when I touched it it felt really different than other manga that I have like you can tell that size is also different um, I really like how uh, this format like it's weird but it feels, it feels more like the Japanese volumes because if you've seen the Japanese volumes they're really thin they're smaller than this one though so this is larger this is more expensive though it's $13 but I didn't buy it for $13 I bought it for so much more but I bought it for $16 here with the shipping and all but yeah it's I am really looking forward to reading this one it seems adorable and I do know a lot of people cried while reading this one so that's also coming the next volume that I bought is Prince Freya by Keiko Ishihara I heard tons about this as well uh, this is about a simple village girl where her life shatters when she is caught in a treacherous plot because she bears a striking resemblance to her country's prince this seems so interesting I've heard tons about this that the story was really shocking and it was really good and that it is similar to Yona of the Dawn I heard a lot of people say that it has that kind of vibe I'm really looking forward to it I'm so sorry for the lighting again like I yes I am really looking forward to reading this one the art seems really incredible and clean and beautiful but I like how can look at that it's so beautiful so yeah I am really looking forward to reading this one and I look how beautiful the art is like I can't comprehend and yeah the story seems really interesting and we need more manga like Yona like those manga was so very powerful like female characters so yeah I am really looking forward to reading this one the next manga that I bought you know my goal in 2020 was to finish collecting this manga now the volumes are so expensive and they are available like in only one place and this is Doro Hodero by Kiyo Hayashida I've wanted to collect this since 2018 and I've been trying to this is volume 5 by the way but I just I am I seem to be able to buy like a volume every six six months because there was a time where the volumes weren't available and then they became available when the anime was released and now they're really expensive but I really really want to finish reading this one this has the, the I do know that this if I finish reading it it will be one of my favorite mangas of all time but I don't want to read it online I want to read it like this and I want to touch the book and I want to smell it and that is so creepy but this is how I want to read it the anime was one of my favorite enemies like when I watched it and it is one of my favorite enemies right now the story is incredible I've said the story 100 like times on this channel like a lot of times like you've heard what Doro Hodero is about it's about Kaiman who woke up all of a sudden in Hall which is a place devastating place and he has lost his head and his head was replaced by a lizard's head and now he and he lost all of his memories and now with the help of Nikaido he is trying to find he's trying to remember who casted a spell on him because the place is also there's also a place for the wizard and these wizards they keep experimenting on people from Hall and he wants to find the wizard who changed his head the sorcerer who changed his head into a lizard's head and the story is so weird and it is a horror manga there is very gory as well so if you don't like that then I don't think you're going to enjoy that also the art is very intricate and different than anything that I've ever read but I do highly recommend this one if you do enjoy horror and you don't mind gore then yes please do pick this one this is the fifth volume uh, the next manga that I want to talk about this manga was all like it was all the rage everyone's talking about it everyone's loving it and I really want to collect it all it has been it is complete in Japan but it's still ongoing right now like in english this is blue flag by kaito here is the first the, here is the first volume and here is the second volume and these are thick volumes you know like i just they're thicker than the normal viz 
right? And they're also bigger. This is a signature, yeah, Sigviz. is about a group of friends in high school, but I do know that it also talks about, it's like a coming of age story, it talks about their sexualities as well. Some characters here are part of the LGBTQ community, I believe. And I heard that it is really beautiful um, and really devastating and really, really well written. And also the art is so beautiful. Look at that. How can the art be so pretty? It's so pretty. And yeah, I am really looking forward to reading this one and talking to you guys about it. Now, I did say that I'm going to be making a vlog of reading the new manga, but I just noticed that there are a lot. So please comment down below of the manga that you want to be included in the vlog trying new manga and uh, reviewing them. So yeah, if there's any manga that you really want me to read and talk about in the vlog, then please comment down below. The next manga that I bought is Living Room Matsunaga-san, volume one. This is by Keiko Iwashita, and I heard this is another cute shoujo manga. This is by Kodansha, which is used to be like a uh, digital only, and now they released it in print and i hope they do release more and more of their shoujo manga please kodansha you have some incredible shoujo manga in digital please relate them in print so we can have them on our shelves and we can touch them like that and see the beautiful art as well so yeah this is about a girl who ends up living with Matsunaga-san, right? Like she moves into Tokyo. Yes, this is about a girl who moves to live with her uncle and she ends up living with Matsunaga-san or something like that. It's supposed to be cute and it's, I think it's similar to Daytime Shooting Star, but he's not her teacher. Uh, I'm not sure what this is about, but I just know it's cute and they just going to be ended up living together and it looks adorable, honestly, and I love reading these kind of mangas in the winter. Next manga that I bought, and I just completed this manga. So this is like completed. I've already hauled the first volume ages ago, and this is Everyone's Getting Married by Izumi Miyazono. Here is the first volume, and I just completed the manga. Here is the eighth and the ninth volume. So this is a Jose manga and this is, I think, the only Jose manga that I'm hauling, but we don't really have a bunch of these in English. So please, please print more Jose manga because we need that. Uh, this is a Jose manga about two people who are dating and they both have like their lives and their careers and their work and stuff like that and the woman wants to marry and the man does not believe in marriage and that's how the story takes off. Uh, there is a live action drama that is really famous and uh, my sister watched it and she really liked it and I really want to read the manga this winter. So yeah, this is Jose, so it is for mature audience and uh, please beware and the art is really clean and beautiful and cute and it is a little bit spicy for those of you who want something like more than shoujo but less than ecchi and i think that's it oh not really <laughs> so if you guys remember i've hauled like ages ago uh, i bought like a, the special edition Box, box set of Bandura Hearts and during the move I actually lost the first two omnibuses and I was devastated and I cried so so much because of these two volumes am I carrying? yes okay I found them so I got a package because we're still getting like package from home uh, where I used to live and I have tons of manga still there you know but I'm like getting them slowly and also because I don't really have space here but i found the first two volumes and now my box set is complete again they are kind of in really bad condition but that's okay at least i have them now and my box set is complete again these are the first this is the first omnibus and this is the second omnibus these are the special edition of the box set of pandora heart uh pandora heart is really one of my favorite enemies and they have like tons of these editions are so so beautiful and I was devastated when I lost these, but now I have to have them again and it's complete. Uh, Ponder Heart and these omnibus are such good, you know, editions. 
uh yeah so Pandora heart is one of my favorite enemies and i'm so happy that i have the volumes again so that i can finally read the manga so yeah these are the first two volumes i also have like another box set this is my sister's box set she just bought it and i think i showed it in one of my vlogs i show a lot of these mangas in my vlog so if you guys want to see them like before the hauls i recommend you watch the vlogs but this is power and high school host club by who oh pisco hattori how did i forget that uh yeah the i watched the anime like when it first got released ages ago and i never read the manga my best friend read it and it said it was, the manga was so much darker than the anime actually because it does show the history of tamaki and it actually continues the relationship between the triangle you know tamaki kyoya and haruhi um so yeah my sister actually bought it and i'm thinking of reading it this winter if you want a reading vlog for like any of the completed mangas that i showed please tell me you want me to show you the volumes i guess i can do that uh, like i'm pretty sure you know what Oran high school host club is about this is about haruhi who is studying in a scholarship in a really famous expensive high school and one time she is looking for a place so she can study and she stumbles into a place and ends up breaking a vase and that vase is like and this is like one of the most like expensive things in that room and that room is like the host club of the place the leader of the host club tamaki thinks that she is a boy and he asks her to join the host club and become one of the hosts so she can pay for the vase that she broke and slowly their story starts i think Still to this time, I've never heard of a story similar to Oran High School Host Club. I think that for the shoujo genre and demographic, it is very, it has a special place in all of our heart. And kiss, kiss, fall in love, you know, we're still singing that song to this day. And yeah, it's, um, if you've never read or watched Oran High School Host Club, I highly recommend that you do. At this point, it is a classic shoujo. Uh, this is the fourth volume This is the fifth volume and all the members of the host club. They're really really interesting people sixth The seventh volume Here is the eighth volume The ninth volume The tenth volume The 11th volume, the 12th volume, the 13th volume, the 14th, the 15th, the 16th. If you don't, the 17th, this volume is really pretty. Tamaki looks so cute. They're so pretty. And the last 18th volume. So the art is really cute and they have like this little small notebook. Yeah, the art is really cute. And if you've never watched or read or in high school host club, I highly recommend it. It is considered a classic show or manga now. And uh, it's really funny as well. Like it's not just like cute and romantic. It's really funny as well uh so yeah these are all the manga these are all the mangas that i bought recently if you guys want me to film a reading vlog for any of the completed manga please comment down below and for the uh, trying a new manga vlog uh please tell me which manga do you want me to read first and yeah if there are any kind of videos that you guys want please comment down below as well and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye Paper I'll go in I just don't